This video is about applications of double integrals. First, let's look at uh, mass. Here's the problem. We'll have a region D here. Think about this is a very thin plate. So thin, we just ignore the thickness. Now, I want you to find the mass of this very thin plate. If the density, okay, we normally use a row to stand for the density. If, if the density is uniformly distributed, in the other word, in the other words, say density independent, say every point your density is a constant. Okay. If this is a constant, simple case, how did you find the mass? Obviously, for this case, your mass mass simply is area of D of this region of your plate and the times density. Right, that's it. However, in the real situation, there's almost impossible for your density to be a constant. Okay. So if, if your density at different point, they take a different number. If that is the case, how do you find the mass? Okay. So this is the old idea. Okay. We just, what we can do, the problem is the density is not a constant anymore. So we don't know how to do that. So you can break your region to many small rectangles. This area we'll call the DA. Okay. This is the DX. This is the DY. DA can be right as either DX times the DY or DY DX, right? Okay, so make this area small enough such that so small you can treat the density as a constant in that small region. So density times dA will give you approximation of the mass in that rectangle. Then we'll have so many of such rectangle, add them together. So this will give you total approximation to this, to the mass of this whole plate. Okay. This only give you approximation, and this approximation is going to get in better and better if your area of that rectangle go to zero. Okay. Does this one looks familiar? Okay. That's exactly is the definition of a double integral. The difference this time is. Instead of use fx, we use rho. The same thing, just a function of x and y. So double integral is not just give you the volume under the surface. It's also if the function there is a density function, this will give you the mass of this very thin plate occupied by region D. In fact, the double integral have many, many more applications. Okay, another application we're going to talk about here is the moment of x about x axis and the moment about y axis. Now let's see what, what are they. Think about a simple case, x and y. Think about a point here, uh, just one point. This point coordinates x and y. This point carries a mass is m. Okay. So the moment about x axis is the formula for that is this distance is y. Okay. Is y times m. That's the formula for the physics. Now m, the moment about y axis is is the mass times this distance, which is x. So x times m, let's give it a moment about 
y axis. That's the simple case. You are the mass concentrated on one point. Again, now we have a, a thin plate. Okay. What is a what is the mass? Uh, what is the moment about x axis? And what is the moment about y axis for this whole whole plate? D there. Okay. So, see, for the different the problem is more complicated because for the different point, your density will be different, and also the distance to the x axis will change. In. Right, this is your y. For the different point, your y is, will be different. So what we do again? The problem is they are not constant. Okay, so you make those smaller things. Then you can treat everything as a constant there. So therefore, just concentrate on this rectangle. The mass for that re rectangle. Remember, we can treat this as constant density times dA. Then this distance here, you just roughly think about it as a y. Okay, here's pick the point here. This is a y. Okay, so y times that. So what is this? This is give you the moment of this rectangle to the x-axis. Then add them together for all of those for all of those rectangles. Then take a limit. Okay. So. This will give you the moment about x-axis, which exactly is the integral over d y rho x y d a. That's the moment about x-axis for this whole plate. Similarly, we can find the moment about y-axis. Same thing. You just change here to x. Same reason. Okay. What is the center of the mass? Now the center of mass is like this. You just think about this for this whole plate. You just say the density functions like this. Just imagine all the all the mass concentrated on one point. This point we call center of mass x bar, y bar, such that such that the moment, for example, about x for this whole plate equal to the moment. Okay, we we just call this whole plate mass is m. Okay. Just think about all the mass concentrated on that point. So for this point, we can find a moment, right? About x-axis will be this distance, the y bar. Okay. So y bar times m. Okay. The mass for this whole plate. Okay. How do you find this mass for this whole plate? Remember, we just did density function times dA. Okay. This gives you the mass for the small rectangle. Add them together. Take a limit. Okay. So your y bar is one over m uh, m x. Okay. Similarly, your x bar can be write as m one over m over M Y. Okay, let me write more specifically. X bar is equal to one over M double integral D M Y X row x y d a your y bar there is a one over m double integral d y there row x y 
D8. Okay, how do you find M? M here equal to D row X, Y, D, A. So, if you know how to integrate the double integrals, then you can find the mass. You can find the center of the mass. Center of the mass. The center of the mass is, a, you find a coordinate, X bar, Y bar. Let's look at the example. Now we want to find the mass and the center of the mass of a rectangle with the vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2. X and Y. 0, 0. 1, 0, here's a 1, here's a 2. Okay. okay. This is our D. Okay. I give you a plate. Now we want to find the center of the mass. And also, we want to find the mass of this plate. Okay. So the density function they give to us, rho is equal to... One my one plus. Okay, let me put here rho x y here equal to one plus three x plus y. Okay, before we do anything, we need to know the equation for that line. So, any equation can be right y equal to ax plus b, right? You can find out what is a and b by knowing the two points. For example, 1x, uh, 1, 1x one equal to 0, x equal to 0. Your y is what? 2, right? So you have this, plus 2. And 1x equal to 0. Well, 1y equal to 0, x equal to 1. So a times 1 plus 2. Okay. So a there is a minus 2. Therefore, the equation for this line is what? y equal to 2 minus 2x. Okay, first let's find the mass. Mass is double integral. Rho x y d a. We know this is double integral. Okay, the first of all density function is one plus three x plus y d a. You can replace the d a either d x d y d y d x or r d r d theta. Obviously, this case is dx dy is better. Okay. okay, so let's say dy dx. Okay, if you pick dx outside, so you have to first of all project this region on the x axis. Find the smallest x and the largest x, which is 0 to 1, obviously. Then fix x in between. See what's your y. Y is bigger than this point, less than that point. So this is your bottom curve. What's your bottom curve? Y equals 0, right? Bottom curve is y equals 0. Top curve is 2 minus 2x. So application is easy. As long as you know how to do double integral, you just plug in the formulas. Okay, the inside integral about y treat x as a constant. So you have you have y plus three x y plus one half y square. This whole sense evaluate two minus two x 
then it's zero. Okay. Remember here, replace y by two minus two x. Then replace y by zero. So replace y by two minus two x. Replace y by two minus two x. Replace y by two minus two x. Then square. Then replace y by zero. Then you got a zero. Okay. D dx. Integrate this one. You got three eighth. Eight over three. So that is the mass for this triangular plate. Okay. Now let's find the center of the mass. So. The x coordinate for the center of a mass x bar is one over m double integral d here. You just integrate a different function. That's it. X rho x y d a, which is equal to my m here is eight over three. One over that is three over eight. Double integral. We're still doing the same thing. Okay, from zero to one. Then from zero to we、well, integrate over over the same region, so those two things are the same. Only things is different is the function we try to integrate it. It's not just rho there only. Those they have to multiply x. So it's one plus three x plus y dy dx. Now you just need to. Integrate that. I'm not going to do that. I think you can do it. Give you three over eight. Find the y bar, the four meter. Y times rho x y d a. Since we integrate the same region, <coughs> three over eight. Zero to two, zero to one, zero to two minus two x, y times rho, which is one plus three x plus y, dy dx. After you integrate that, give you eleven over sixteen. So you have to remember this section. As long as you know how to do double integrals. So the difference is the function you integrated is different.、Okay. So how to integrate a double integral plus with the given formulas? Then you can apply. You can find the mass and the center of the mass. For this class, I only ask you to be able to find the mass and the center of the mass.